In today's political landscape, issues of identity, authenticity, and cultural values ignite fervent debates. Many feel alienated by progressive policies and rhetoric, yearning for political leaders who advocate for authenticity and the preservation of fundamental values. This sentiment reflects both immediate concerns about specific policies and deeper fears about society's trajectory. Remember, Barack Obama said we cling to God and guns. Remember that? Hillary Clinton called us deplorables. And now Kamala Harris says we're weird. Well, Kamala, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. Let's talk about some things that are weird. We think it's weird that Democrats want to put sexually explicit books in toddlers' libraries. We think it's weird that the far left wants to allow biological males to beat the living crap out of women in boxing. We think it's weird for a presidential candidate to bail convicted rapists and murderers out of prison, and that's what Kamala Harris did. And, and I think it's especially weird when Kamala Harris comes to Atlanta, I believe came here to this, this, this arena, Kamala Harris comes to Atlanta and talks with a fake Southern accent, even though she grew up in Canada, you can't make it up, that's pretty weird. Go watch the clip, she sounded like a Southern belle, even though she grew up in Vancouver, it doesn't make any sense. But on November 5th, she can go back to using her San Francisco accent because we're going to send her back in and we're going to reelect Donald J. Trump, president of the United States. J.D. Vance has been vocal in his criticism of hypocrisy and inconsistency in Democratic Party rhetoric and policies. He highlights Hillary Clinton's deplorables comment and Kamala Harris's reference to the public as weird, capturing a widespread feeling of being misunderstood and unfairly treated by the liberal elite. Vance's remarks resonate deeply with conservative values, emphasizing the protection of children, the maintenance of traditional gender roles, and justice for crime victims. His criticism of Harris's change in tone appeals to conservative concerns about the sincerity and integrity of political leaders, striking a chord with those who value honesty and consistency in their representatives.